working on pressure down. Okay, pressure down is very similar to pressure sit, which you will see in one of our previous videos. I would start first always with pressure sit. Once your dog understands pressure sit, then work towards pressure down. Okay, so it's important your dog learns a little bit of the basics of understanding how to turn off pressure and why we do that. If you're not uh, familiar with negative reinforcement or why we use pressure sit or pressure down opposed to regular sit with treats, take a look at our pressure sit video. All the information is there. So what I want Murphy to do is to lay down, okay? First, I'm going to ask him by giving him a command he understands or has previously understood by down. I'm going to give him a moment to complete this. If he doesn't go down, I'm going to say no. What that does is tell him, hey, you didn't get it right. He's not sure what he wants to do now. <laughs> it means you did not get it right. And then I'm going to apply pressure. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my foot slowly, and then I'm going to step on the leash. This is going to create pressure on the back of his collar to show him I would like you to go downwards. Okay? Murphy, down. No. Yes, good boy, good boy, very good boy. It's very important to remember we're not raising and we're not stomping on the leash. We don't want our dogs to jerk down towards the ground like this. We're just trying to create a slow and maybe slightly increasing pressure on the back of their collar. We do this through stepping on the leash. Okay, Murphy, we're, we're training here, okay? That's not polite. Come on, let's go. Try this again. Sit, good down. No. Give him another chance to do it. He doesn't do it. I raise my leg and then I slowly step on the leash. He's a bit distracted. It's taking a little longer. Yes. As soon as his belly touches the ground, I release that pressure. Okay. It's very important to release the pressure when he does it correctly. What a good boy. And then I'm giving him verbal praise and verbal reward. It's not the cleanest, prettiest, most obedient sit that I've ever seen, but he's doing a good job. All right? Try that one more time. Come on. Good. One of the, the troubles I see some people run into is they put the leash too low and then they step on it here. And the dog does not feel enough pressure on the leash. So I invite you to step on the leash while it's off the ground. If your dog is very short and close to the ground, you're probably going to have to step pretty close to the collar. But for Murphy here, I can just hold this in one hand. It's off the ground about a foot. So by the time my foot touches the ground, he's going to feel quite a bit of pressure on the back of his neck. I have seen a couple of dogs kind of brace out and just wait, and that's okay. They're as long as there's still tension on the back of their neck, they can learn and decide when they want to turn off that pressure. Don't get upset with them. Don't yell at them. Don't repeat commands. Don't tell them down, down, down important that they just have to learn over time that it's not worth it. Eventually this pressure is not going to turn off until I do what's being asked of me. So I say again, start Murphy, down. No, marking that he did not do it. Raising my leg and slowly stepping on the leash, creating pressure. Yes, good boy bud, good boy, good job. That is how you do a pressure down and how we teach our dogs not uh, to work for us, not just because we have a handful of treats, but because we ask.